Hey, awesome people, and by the gods of Swedish flat pat, Swedish flat pat furniture, I am going to build a bork. And this is Home Improvisation Simulator. And it's made in a global game jam. I've been to a global game jam before, they're very fun. Although, by the last couple of hours, you get absolutely tated. Right, so this is a care legs, that's a key table base. And with years of flat pack furniture making, I'm gonna build some shit. I've seen other YouTubers play it, uh, I just wanted to play along as well and to see my thoughts on IKEA Simulator or Home Improvisation without naming any names. Right, so let's stick this thing into that thing and stick it in the slot. And there we go, we've got our first ever table leg onto our table and don't we feel very special for doing that. It's years of family frustration into this game probably. And it's actually multiplayer as well, so if you want to bash your friends while you're doing it, you probably can. Right, so let's place this thing down into the thing, because I am accurate with DIY terms. I have a DIY degree, made it out of crayon, you could probably see it, but I've probably destroyed it. Right, so let's see, let's see if we can place this down, and hopefully I can put it into the slot. That's what she said. And placing it down. There we go. Our third table leg. Now get straighten out the next table leg. And place it down. There we go. We've got a complete bork. Whatever bork it is. Right, so memorize the pattern. This is a it is actually cut off on the actual thing. But this is a collock. Oh collock. Uh, I've got no idea. I talk don't talk Swedish or flat pack. I don't talk actual flat pack instructions as well because they make very nigh mind numbing kind of instructions to read that you've got no idea how to build the thing you actually want to build. I actually want to see the person that developed the actual instructions for flat pack furniture. He must be one of a kind. Alright, so let's place that down into the slot. And there we go, this is feeling a lot better because I've never been able to do that. I've never been able to work out the actual slot position. So yeah, a lot of jokes could be made in this video about what I'm saying. Right, so let's see if we can place that down. Right, I've got the stand. Now I just need to make the bollock or whatever it's called. And that was kind of rude what I tried to say in Swedish. But it came out of something else. Alright, so here we go. And see the yellow lines and place. Ah! Oh, I need super glue, that's what I need. Right. Oh, the bloody lines is telling me I can place it. Oh, oh, oh. I've just knocked the bollock off. Uh, whatever it was. Bagurk or. I don't know. Uh, bollock or something like that. I don't know. Alright, so let's see if we can place that into there. It's like the right. Elephant's tooth or something. There we go. I'm not sure if this is actually even looking like the final product, but we'll see when I actually start to finish it off. Right, so that should be able to attach to there. It's like the song. The light bulb connects to the elephant tusk. The well-known popular song is there. And there we go, we've just whacked it into position, and I feel like a flat pro. And that sounded like fat plat. Alright. Ooh, we've just wonked it over. Right, so triangle baits. Have you ever thought of triangle bases? and never stand upright, so slowly does it. Uh, oh, bloody wonky! I built a wonky bloody piece of flat back. Oh, the bloody thing is not bloody going right. Right. Oh, bloody, bloody flat pack. Right, let's see if we can get it in. Oh, come on, right, let's go up a bit, side a bit, up a bit, down a bit. And mango into position. That looks about right. Uh, right. So now down a bit. This is probably how you would actually be actually doing it at home. If you want to, you can actually join along if you've got a bug york or whatever the crap this is, and do it at home yourself. It'd probably be a lot more fun and a lot more easier. Probably not actually, because you haven't got gigantic help in lines and gluing up the lines and stuff. It does actually remind me of 3ds Max. Alright, so let's move this up. Move this down. Oh, bollocking furniture. Uh, move it up 
and side to side. Come on, you can do that. That's right. Here we go. We've whacked on the right. There we go. Uh, with years of flat packing experience, I will do that. Right. I'm not sure if that was right. That looks a little wrong. Right. So hopefully now we can put in this light. Okay. Where does the light go? That's what I want. To oh, there's a bigger pole. Right. That's what she said as well. Right. So the very large pole is going into the actual slot. Yep. Oh. Okay. Very large pole into the slot there. Nope. This is like the hardest 3D jigsaw. There's no instructions whatsoever to build this. It's pretty much real life. Right. Let's see if we can whack that down and let go. And there we go. It actually stands up, which is absolutely fantabulous. Right. So let's move this up. Move it along. Oh, this bloody 3D world. Why can't everything be in 2D? Then it'll be bloody easier. Uh, move it up and. Down, as you can see, I swear a lot doing this video because it's flat pack. And I bloody hate flat pack. Right, move it up. I've got no DIY skills whatsoever. This thing wouldn't even look like a light once I'm done with it in real life, and it probably doesn't look very much like one now as well. Uh, right, so hopefully, with a bit of luck, I'm guessing that this thing can be rotated upwards and placed down. Oh bloody hell, how does this thing fit? I've got no idea, what the hell is it? Uh, they've given me a spare part I reckon. This is a defective flat pack. This is, this is Stegers of flat pack denial. Uh, this is Stegers of grief. There's also Stegers of flat pack denial. Oh it looks absolutely fantastic. No it doesn't actually look fantastic, it looks bloody crap. And then you can swear and fight with each other when you're putting it up. And afterwards, it does look a bit crap. Um, right, move this up. It doesn't really look end of ever what it looks like on the box. Right, so let's move this along a bit. Move this up. Alright, this bit, we'll go into this bit. I'm sure. I've got a degree in this, as I say. It is a flat packing experience. Alright, moving it down. We can just place it in the slot. Oh, and not getting very far at this. I thought I'd be a bit better at flat pack furniture. There's actually a hole there, so I'm guessing something goes in that hole. Yep, and um, no, no jokes there at all. Uh, oh, balls. Oh, we've got a light, and it went through the carpet, because it's weird like that. And if you'll probably start seeing things in real life if you start putting t things like this together. Right, like that, because you probably start to hallucinate in a flat pack wonderland. Right, where everything comes in flat pack, even people. That'd be kind of weird, flat pack people. Right, come on, light. This this thing can't be that hard to put together. I've got to use some logic. Right, there's two holes there, so I'm guessing it's not that big. Uh, that's what she said as well. I'm making so many. That's what she said jokes. I swear, I'm missing a part. Oh, Alright, let's rotate this. It would be a bit bloody easy if I had a bloody Xbox controller. Alright, frustration free. Let's try and de stress. Think happy thoughts about flat pack. There's non happy thoughts about flat pack. I can't de stress because of the bloody flat pack. Right, move it this up a bit. Uh, right, that's a light on a stick. Oh, oh, accidentally. We've done it. Okay, I'm sure this is not how it looks. <laughs> this is the most weirdest thing I have ever built. Okay, <laughs> the wonky light that doesn't stand up and it gets, uh, looks like it's going to give you a hug. This looks like the dejected monster from Doctor Who <laughs> in flat pack. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever built. Which has not got much competition because I've never built anything in my life. As you can tell by this monster of a flat packed city thing. Right. So it kind of gets me done with this one and move on to one last one. Right. Where's the slot? Uh, okay. I think I think I've not supposed to have done that. Okay, let's move that upwards. I hope, I hope I can still finish this off, this man, magnificent beast of Ikea. Alright, move that down. This has got to be somewhere like Huggo or something like that in its Swedish name. 
<laughs> Look at all the lights. <laughs> uh, um, right, let's place that down. Up a bit. And... Oh! Okay, right. With years of flat packing experience, because it normally works back then. Right, I think I've screwed this one up. I think I've really messed this up. Uh, this is the worst flat pack in the world. I'm sure it's meted plenty of records. There we go. <sighs> the git is done. That is the most amazing piece of furniture ever. Let's go with the last one. A gluten. Oh, what the shit is this? Right, let's see. Let's get a load of pieces of wood. Okay, that bit connects to that. Let's see if we can actually build something for once. Right, that is definitely the top of the table, uh, I'm guessing. With years of flat pack experience, I do know that that is the top of the table. Uh, you have access experts on the topic, and they all say it is the top of the table. Right, so let's see. So, we can hopefully get a bit of a join somewhere. There we go, we've got a join. Let's see what fantabulous thing we can build this time. Right, so moving on up. Not in the world because I've built some city flat pack furniture. Right, I wouldn't sell this on eBay. Right, let's see. We can bonk that together. There we go, we've built something. As you can see, this is uh, something or other. Right. Before the marital divorce happens between my crazy self and my rational logical self for building this pile of crap that looks like something like Homer Simpson is an A! It is actually an A! So yeah, let's see. It probably will be quite a divorce between my logical side and the Homer Simpson crappy let's build it side because this is the first thing I've ever built and I'm proud. It's like when I could build something and he'd say that's wonderful and it was a pile set. Uh, right, so let's see. Ooh, 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 that bit connects to that bit. This is the most fantabulous building thing I have ever built. This is fantastic, graphic. Right, that bit whacks into that. And that bit whacks onto that. I've got no idea, but it's telling me, so it must be true. Right. If something go goes with your yellow line, you must follow that yellow line to the ends of the earth. It might be a fantabulous prize inside. And let's see. So if I move that up and move it to the side, I am ready to sit it building fat fat pack furniture, flat pack furniture. And move it to the side a bit. Come on, we can do that. Move it along. Oh come on you beats, let's get in. Get into the slot, you magnificent beats. Right, yeah, no jokes there as well. Uh, let's see. There we go. Right, so where do these two plates go to build this fantabulous table? Uh, let's see. This is absolutely fantastic what I've been building. I'm not sure if those can be fitted on anymore, but we'll see. Right, there we go. See, it, it, it's a table. You can probably stack something on that. See, and it doesn't fall down. That is the most fantastic table I have ever seen. And it's only 9.95 as well. Buy today, save later. And let's see, we can whack that onto there. And yep, a fantabulous table. It's now born to the world. This is the Franken table of the world. All right. Let's see if we can wonk that down. As you can see, wonking is a new term. Uh, Alright, come on, fit in. And as you can see, cool. the table, the lady, I'm going to call it actually the lazy mate. Because that actually stands up. Look, that is a fantastical table. You can do everything on it. You can do your ironing. You can do everything. And that's been today's Games to Find. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, oh my god, the table stuck to the actual other pieces but yeah that's been games to find and there's a load of birds over there i'm gonna christen this the wonko the wonko the unstable and the huggo there we go i if you're listening to me famous ikea plates then these tables need to be built and that light over there Fab fabulous product ideas, it will one day hit the market.
Enjoy!